I thought Jose the other night after the game was, um, that's where everyone loves him. You know, the idea of seeing him cup the, uh, the, the hand to the, to the fans at the end of the game, some people may not like it. I, that's, that's what I love about him. That's what I love about football, to be honest with you. I think that there should be reaction and passion at the end of a match. I even like his reaction at the end of the game against Newcastle the other week, which obviously the FA have now appealed on him on. Um, because to me, Jose Mourinho, his best qualities always were that he was impossible when he was losing, but he was impossible when he was winning. And it was always enthralling to watch. And he always brought everybody on the, on the, along the line. He charmed along the way as well. But certainly when you see him smile and you see him laughing, um, when I think of him the other night in that press conference after the game and some of the one-liners he came out with and where he was a few weeks ago, the day before that Newcastle game, that's a massive difference. And he's hung in there and shown determination because it was getting close. You know, there were, it was feeling like something was happening. And he himself, no, he's an experienced manager. He just felt like the world was just collapsing in and around uh, the team, the club, the manager. It felt like there was going to be change. And I think the Chelsea game was the big one. The Chelsea was the big one. I think that even though you could point towards Newcastle, that was huge. Just coming and nearly winning at Stamford Bridge and getting to, to within a second of winning uh, will have given the players confidence. And then since then, they've just grown and grown and shown, not I say incredible performance levels, but a real doggedness and determination. There were people strongly suggesting that the, that the, the players were not with the manager a month ago. I never, ever bought into that. You don't win away, away from home or show the level of determination unless the players are there fighting to the end. Even though everything might not be perfect and there's certainly one or two issues that have been rumbling between maybe Josie and players at times. But I think that generally the players still out on the pitch are proving that the, you know, they're fighting for the shirt, for the badge and for obviously the coaching staff.